Hello there, I am Giant Quill with more Pokemon Ruby Redo. In the last part, we took on, uh, we took, we met Lynette at the Pokemon Center in Flybertown. We got the TM for, uh, Roar and the TM for Dig. And we also took on most of, uh, Route 114. We're still kind of on Route 114 because it's the mountain area part of it. So let's take on this hiker. We have a uh, scream up front, so I can choose stealing or scream. I can just choose stealing to be super effective if has any gra any even half ground or even full ground uh, type Pokemon or not ground but rock. Yeah, lehi hu. Okay, uh, he's supposed to say lehi hu since it doesn't echo here. That's some cool dialogue right there. That's like some of the dialogue. That's like one of the pieces of dialogue I just remember from this game from my trainer at least. Hiker one. He's not that much chop. Okay. So Machop is going to be pecked at. <laughs> nice. Awesome. Did a little bit of over half, so that's good. For a chop, there we go. It's neutral effective. Fine, let's use the peck then. And then Machop goes down. Nice. It's gonna be good level 21, awesome. Okay, about another Machop, okay. So there's two Machops. That's not so bad. Let's use another peck. And one more peck should do it. I don't want some misses, you know, that takes two more pecks. Okay, good, it hits. Good, I almost jinxed it there. I had a feeling I almost jinxed it there. I would have jinxed it there. Cool. Luckily, luckily it didn't happen, though. I didn't miss. What do you feel, Hi, Kwenny? Yo, Lee, who? Thanks for the 760 Poké Dollars, man. I think there's one more hiker. No, there isn't, actually. It's a, it's a rock. I thought that was going to be I'm on that rock for some reason. Here's another instant in the wall, we can use Rock Smash right here. I think I'm, I'm going to check that rock to make sure there's not a hidden item there. Nope, it's just a rock. Okay, it's just instant in the wall. Okay, so this is Mid-Year Falls. Rush Bro City through here. Nice. Because it links back to Rush Bro City with ledges that you can jump over. Uh, I'm going to put a Repel on, honestly, because I don't want to run into it. Uh, I think the two new Pokemon you can... Uh, you can uh, find here or um and ruby it's version exclusive to ruby it's soul rock and then for sapphire it's um switch exclusive is um runatone so let's see let's use a repel there we go nice so here's an item it is a full heal very worth picking up heals any status condition like burn sweet paralysis poison yeah oh, okay there's team magma Hee hee hee. With this meteorite, Mount Chimney will... Oh, he saw me. Dang it. Heh. I don't know who you are, but if you don't get in the... But don't... If you get in the way of Team Magma, don't expect any mercy. Hold it right there, Team Magma. We, Team Aqua, won't allow you to get away with your misdeeds. Heh. <laughs> Even Team Aqua joins us. But it's too much trouble to deal with you all. Heh. It doesn't matter. Heh. It doesn't matter. Uh, well, we've got the meteorite, so off the challenge of me we go. He will be seeing you, Team Aqua Dingbats. Okay. Who might you be? Ah, so you are Steven. I am Archie. As the head of Team Aqua, I've dedicated myself to, to, to wanting the dangerous plans of Team Magma. Why? Because Team Magma is a grave threat to us all. Uh, they have committed many destructive acts in their bid to expand the land. We, Team Aqua, love the sea above all. Team Magma is all our sworn enemy. Archie, we should give chase to Team Magma. Yes, yes, we must. We got to hurry. There's no telling what Team Magma will do at Mount Chimney. Steven, you should keep an eye on Team Magma too. Uh, eye out for Team Magma too. Farewell. Okay, good to know. Like, depend like, if you're playing Ruby, it sounds like, if you're playing Pokemon Ruby version, it's like, Team Aqua is kind of like, uh, the good guys, kind of say. Like a frenemy, I guess, of yours. A friend and an enemy. But in, uh, Sa Pokemon Sapphire version, uh, you know, Team Magma is kind of a frenemy, you know. Because they, uh, st they avoided that fight that we just would have got into, you know. I am, I am Cosmo. I'm a professor. Uh, I usually study meteorites in Forever Town. Then some people from Team Magma gave me guide, made me guide them to the Meteor Falls. They promised me that they would ex evacuate meteorites from me. But I, Team Magma tricked me. Um, th oh that meteorite, I will never be, it will never be mine now. But that Team Magma, we are going to do, what are they going to do with that out, the meteorite at Mount Chimney? I don't know, actually I do know. <laughs> And then if you're playing Pokemon Emerald, I think that would be, um, I think it would be Team Magma who stole the meteorite or tricked the Cosmo to get the meteorite, and then Team Aqua would, uh, 
make you uh, help you avoid that fight with Team Magma. So I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. A Moonstone helps evolve Pokemon like Jigglypuff into Wigglytuff, or Nido King into uh, Nido Nido Vino into Nido King or Nido Vina to Nido Queen. Uh, Jiggly, uh, I said Jigglypuff to uh, Wigglytuff. Um, Clefairy into uh, my pillow off. I'm gonna still not nah, gonna. I'm not gonna put another one on. Dang it. Okay, that was annoying Zubat. And then also the other evolution that comes off the top of my head is um, Clefairy into uh, Clefable. No hit on him in that rock there. Mighty Rare Falls, four per town through here. Okay, cool. So we are actually north of, uh, we're actually north of, um, F Westboro City here. Let's take, get this item, take it. It's an ultra nice, okay. So, let's see, I wanna go put my Pokemon Nav, actually. So if you look on the whole map, we are just above, uh, Westboro City. So we made, like, a big loop around here. You know, it's crazy. Here's another incident in the wall for secret bases. There's so many of those things. Here's a fighter, dude. Let's take him on. My strongest skill is uh, busting bricks with my forehead. That's good to know. Way to go, man. I'm proud of you. <laughs> okay. Black belt knob, nah, but it's a dumb chop. Okay, cool. This thing's level 20. Nice. Let's go for the peck. Critical hit awesome. Nice. I like it. I could be breakable, which it gives with Vax Mesh? Of course, why not? Here's an item, it is a Great Ball, awesome. And here's some more berries, it's bulk, bulk berries, it looks, kinda looks like cherry berries, but it's bulk berries instead. There we go, three more bulk berries after that, I think we picked up six total then, because three plus three, three, three plus three is six. So I want to switch out to, um, switch over to, uh, Smokey here. Because this collector has a Surviper. So I have a rare Pokemon, would you like me to show you? Sure, I know it's a Surviper already. But it's, uh, cool I guess. Here's Collector Hector. He has one Pokemon that's a Survivor level 20, nice. It's good for your Pokedex, this is like a trainer of interest I guess you could say. Sorry, right, Spin can switch the- yeah, there we go, nice, okay. Lick? Okay, no, no, don't lick. Jeez. <laughs> there we go. It does about one third. Let's use the body slam. Poison tail. This is gonna hurt. Oh, well, I thought I'd do more damage than that and probably poison. Uh, smoky, but whatever. Oh man, Smokey's paralyzed now. Okay, there goes the sniper though. That's awesome. Yeah, 700 plus experience, nice. We defeated Collector Hector, <laughs> kinda rams a little bit. You, you want my Pokemon, don't you? No, I'm okay, I'm okay. Thanks for the 1200 Poke Dollars. There's one more trainer here, and this is Battle Girl. So, uh, yeah. Let's uh, go to Smokey and uh, switch to uh, Screamo, yeah. Okay. This beach is my secret training spot. Don't come butting in. Well, too bad I am. Deal with it. <laughs> this is Battle Girl. What's your name? Battle Girl Cindy. Okay, cool. So here's a Maritite. Let's go for this pack attack. Almost when it gives it. Awesome. Meditate. Okay. Interesting. Let's go for the Steel Wing. Nice. Makuhita's next, awesome. So she has a Meditate and a Makuhita. It's pretty cool. Let's use another peck, or let's use a peck on this uh, Makuhita. Puts in the red health, okay, cool. Vital Thrill, okay, nice. Let's go for the stealing. Should faint it, hopefully. It does, awesome. Now Screamer's level 22, just like a uh, Smokey. So we, did we defeated Battle Girl Cindy. Awesome. I haven't trained hard enough. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks for the 456 Poké Dollars. Okay, so what we want to do is hop over these ledges back into Rushboro City. Or leading to Rushboro City. 
I'm gonna heal up the Pokemon Center real quick. Okay, right back here. I also put the Moonstone in uh, my PC, along with him on my Pokemon, like I said. Here's Route 116 again. I'm gonna put a repel on, though. Yeah, nice. Okay, cool. Should repel all these Pokemon and these grass, you know. Oh, here's the, uh, the Devin Goods worker, I guess, again. Uh, oh, it's you. You're that person who not only helped me in Petal Bug Woods, but also got uh, back my storm package and then even uh, gener graciously delivered it to Slayport. Captain Stern informed me that the package arrived too. I thank you very, very much. What if I were, what, why if I were a ring card, I would shower you with the gratitude and hail you as a hero. Nice, that's cool. For you, the most wonderful trainer, I bear good news. Recently, our company developed a new kind of Pokeball. As a token of our appreciation, this is our gift to our wonderful trainer. The repeat ball, it's a really good and catching Pokemon you've already caught. So yeah. Our, our new Pokeball will be available at the Pokemon in Rushboro. Please try it out. Thank you and bye bye. I guess if you want to catch multiple of the same Pokemon, they're really good for that purpose, but uh, I probably won't be using it, but I might use it just to have a funny laugh if I caught like a legendary and a people or something. But we'll see. I think they're probably still up, right? Yeah, okay, cool. I thought, for some reason I thought it was like empty, it was already done in a wolf, I mean, wolf, I mean. The Brocky Smasher actually stays, um, actually stays sm not smashed and not blocking the whole path again, so that's kind of interesting. Perfect wolf right there, but luckily we were able to go and get out of um, that uh, that um that uh place. Yeah. Okay. So let's enter a contest. Why not? We can get the we can get the um contest pass here. Hello over there. Uh, we're accepting registration for the normal rank Pokemon contest. Anyone with a contest pass may enter. If you don't have one, I can issue one for one right now. Would you like to issue a contest pass? Yes. Here you go. We got a contest pass. Yay. Okay, yeah, send the key items back at the Pokemon. The Pokemon contest involves four trainers entering one Pokemon each in competitive judging. A contest is two stages of judging, primary and secondary. I'm just going to do this. Primary judging is a, is a popular popularity poll involving the audience. Secondary judging features appeals by the Pokemon using their moves. Plan appeals uh, carefully to earn the most attention of the judge and excite the audience. Do you do your best to stand out? The primary and secondary scores are added at the end. The Pokemon uh, garnering the highest score is declared the winner. Cool. Uh, would you like to enter your Pokemon in our contest? Enter, of course. Uh, um, let me actually look up my Pokemon's moves and stuff because it depends on like what moves really. So, let's see here. All cool, okay. Uh, half and half. T half beauty, half tough. Half cool, half smart. Uh, big mixture of all of the of four of them. Four categories at least. And then two smart and then one tough one beauty. Tough, tough, tough. Cool. Okay. Um, I think I want to enter Skarmory in a contest. You know, because he has all, or she has all cool moves. So let me try that. So, uh, let's see, let's, how can I strategize with this though? I wanted to have a little strategy going in. So, hmm, I think I can just go in and just try my best. So let's enter a contest, yeah. Enter a uh, cool contest. Which Pokemon would I like to enter? Um, Screamer, of course. If, is, is this, is that your Pokemon contest Pokemon? Is that a contest Pokemon? Yes, it is. Okay, Pokemon will be entered in this contest. You, your Pokemon entry number four. The contest will begin shortly. Please come in through here. Good luck. Okay. Yeah, in Dominant Pearl, I remember we had to dress up in a tuxedo if you were a boy, and have a dress on if you were a girl. Play as the girl character. So yeah. But here you can just be all casual clothing right now. It's <laughs> okay, hello. We're g just getting started with the normal rank Pokemon contest. Cool contest. The participating trainers and their Pokemon are as, are as follows. Poochie Anna, number one Poochie. Jimmy's Poochie, heh. <laughs> Jimmy's Poochie. Now I think what's rigged is you don't get any um, hearts for this section, even if you're the player. But all these other people get like a bunch of hearts and stuff for their Pokemon. Or, or appeals or, you know, ahs and oohs. And I'm not even reading the trainer's names anymore, or the nicknames for the Pokemon. So sorry. Yeah, see I don't get any hearts. Like every time I've done a contest, I never get any hearts for uh, the beginning, the introduction. We've just seen all four Pokemon contestants. 
Now it's time for preliminary judging. The audience will vote on their favorite Pokemon contestants. Without further ado, let's the voting begin. Voting underway dot dot dot. Okay. Voting is not complete. While the votes are being tallied, let's move on to our secondary judging. So the secondary judging. The second stage of judging is the more much anticipated appeal time. May the contestants amaze us with superb, appealing, and dazzling moves. Let's see a subtle enthusiasm. Let's appeal. Okay, it pulls up the screen. Okay. Appeal number one. Which move should be played? Um. Appeal, appeal. Well, Peck has four hearts, and everything else has two hearts. So I'll go with Peck, I guess. Start off strong. Hopefully, I'm doing this correctly. It's been a long time since I actually did contest in uh, the original, um, yeah, the Pokemon, the generation, basically. Hyper Boys, okay. I'm only one heart hot. But um, Martha lost three hearts of her four. Okay. Wireless, or whatever his name is. Oh, that's the nickname of the Pokemon. Okay, yeah. It's more Sydney, Jimmy, and Steven, basically. But you can, can just condition. I, okay, this is going way too fast for me, apparently. Okay, so one heart, two heart, two heart, basically, is what, basically what it is. It's going to play pack. Okay. We got four hearts. Nice. I'm in the lead right now, as far as I know. Went over great. Awesome. We got even we got an extra heart. Nice. Now, let's switch the order of all Pokemon for the next round, so keep that in mind. Just caught a little attention. Just give me a little attention. That's good. Okay, so I go first this time. I can just be able to move which move should be played. Um, let's try um agility. That'd be cool to watch. Agility. Let's do it. Okay, scream appeared with agility. The move uh, uh move up a line and next appeal. Okay, that's good to know at least. It could be good. It could be bad. Pause. We got another heart. We're doing pretty well right now. So hopefully I don't like mess this up or anything. Fuji took it. Just take it on. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, two, three hearts. Oh shoot, that's a lot of hearts. That's like seven, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think that's seven. Yeah. Yeah. Started to steal the Pokemon. Fuji tripped over out it. Smart just didn't go well here. Oh, it always does that when it's like not matched with the contest that we're in. Cause this is a cool contest. And thank you, Sydney, for using a. He's forgetting where to put you as a heart. I would appreciate it. But then again, uh, the the stupid Morris's Mahita or Mar Mahita or whatever it is just like stole the show that round. Kind of neck and neck with Morris right now. So we caught a little tension. That's good. So that means scream. We're gonna be first again. Okay, cool. Okay, which one should we play? Um, let's go for a stealing. That's always looks cool. I'm trying to always do different moves too for the peel rounds and whatnot. Even though that might not be the best strategy, but yeah. Oh, pause! Yay, we got we got a lot of hearts there. But someone's probably gonna sabotage me, honestly. I guess not. Okay, not more. It's good. Okay, yeah. Hyper voice. Oh no! Does that affect Morris? Oh, it affects both of us. Shoot. Okay, fine. Scream like couldn't help utter a cry. Oh, you, you jerk. I'm just trying to have a fun contest here, and you're screwing me up. Okay, so at least we have five hearts still. Okay. Poochie just appealed with how. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you got two hearts. Two stars, I mean. Two blue stars. Yeah. We're still in the lead, though. Awesome. Scream has caught a little attention. That's good. They Scream has caught a little attention every, like, appeal round, which is good. We're still in first. We still go first. Wow. I thought we'd be all around the water with the... But we've gone last, first, first, basically. Let's go for the swift attack. Oh, this appeal works great if from first. Let's try that, yeah. Because swift is actually the move I haven't used yet on my four moves. The stand, the standout Screamer hustled even more. Nice. Scream was cool, went off for great, yeah. Three, 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 three rate of pause out of five, I guess. So that's awesome. Oh um, man, does that hurt Screamo? Guess not, cool. Yeah, we're in good shape right now. We're in good shape. I like the contest music in the background. It goes do 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 It's very catchy. Oh my gosh, Poochie used, oh my gosh, that's a lot of hearts. That's like eight hearts, yeah, eight hearts, man. Try to start all the Pokemon. Dang it. Screamer couldn't utter. Ah, oh, man. Screamer, that's okay. I was, as long as everyone's hearts is gonna go down, you know, that's good. Oh, good. You tripped over attention. That's good. 
Yeah, oh poor Wales or Wordress or whatever his name, unique name, you Pokemon, your Wismer, is the smartest thing over well here. That's like the, doo -doo -doo -doo, the like the sound it makes when you actually use a different move, not for the contest. A scream call, well attention. That's happened every round now. I still go first. Wow, I thought I would still be in the order. Um. The appeal can be made earlier next turn. Okay, that's what we did before. Highly appealing move. Um, this appeal works great if one first. Works well if it's the same type as the one before. Okay, that doesn't help me because now that one's before me. No one came bef no one's gonna go before me. So I think my best best part to go is either Swift or Peck. I might want to go Swift again. Hopefully that's the right move I chose. It goes well if it's from first. Yeah, send out Screamer Hustled even more. Yeah, we're getting a lot of hearts from there. Screamer disappointed on repeating an appeal. I'm sorry, I have only four moves and this is the fifth round, so I'd have to, you know, use the same move at least twice. One of the moves at least twice. Yeah. Oh, and I start, you startled my scar move. Way to go. Ah, uh, man, distraction. Ah. Uh, you're being jerks right now just because I'm winning. As I had to say that because now Screamer's hearts is going to go down a little bit even more. Ah, uh, no hearts this round. Shoot. No hearts for, um, no hearts. Oh, that's negative hearts, I think. That black heart. Yeah. Okay, we're all getting sabotaged this round, basically, if you think about it. Yeah, negative hearts. Shoot. Negative three hearts. That's negative four hearts for Morris. Uh, it's gonna be negative one. Okay, three. Okay, just break even with zero hearts for Jimmy. And then Sydney got two hearts, basically. Ooh, I think I still, I'm still i still in the lead, I think. Screamer failed to stand out at all. Okay, fine. That's the first time that's happened after the whole appeal round. We're out of, we're all out of appeal time. We're all out of appeal time. That's it for judging. Thank you all for your most wonderful display of qu quality appeals. Okay, this concludes all judging. Thank you for all your fine efforts. Thanks, man. Now, that all that remains is to post pounding proclamation. Is the post pounding proclamation of the winner. The judge looks very ready to make the announcements. Judge says, I will declare the winner. Oh, I like this. It's like a little Pokemon Stadium results kind of thing. If you remember Pokemon Stadium. For some of those concepts, I guess. Round two results. Okay, I got on the board with Screamo. Haha, <laughs> we filled the bar. Nice. We came in first, baby. I haven't done a contest in one of these games in a long time, and I went on my first go with Skarmory, and we got a ribbon, basically. That's awesome. We won. Entry number four, Steven and Screamo. Congratulations. Awesome. Awesome sauce. Here you are. Please accept your prize. We confer on you this ribbon of your uh, prize. We received a ribbon. We pin it on Screamo or Skarmory. Yeah, put the ribbon on Screamo. Nice. So in its summary, I actually have a ribbon in its um, summary, so that's pretty cool. I want to show it off right now, actually, just before I forget. Okay, so let's see here. Um, oh, I can actually look at the things at that time, yeah. Hmm, I thought it would I thought it would have been its summary, but I guess not. Oh yeah, it says right here. Um for ribbons it says ribbons colon one. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, so that's a contest for you. I'm glad I gotta show it for you. I'm glad I actually won the contest. That's pretty cool. Screamer is a big star and won the ribbon. Screamer worked pretty hard there. So let's make our way back to uh actually where those team team magmas were that were blocking the cable car. That's where we wanna go next actually. So yeah, uh, it's a little bit about it's a little bit to get there, but as long as you're patient, you'll get there eventually. <laughs> let's use another. Let's use Rex Smash right here. No G did there. Okay, that's good because now that would slow us down because it'd be a battle we have to go into then with that Geo dude. So yeah, he's about one twelve is where we need to be actually. That item right there, I think, is either a nugget or a rare candy. I could be wrong though. Oh, we can't get that for a little bit actually. It's coming up though. See look, the team magma grunts are gone. So yeah. Okay, um, let's check the trash can just to make sure if there's anything in there. Uh, it's empty, of course. Okay. Uh, the keep all his cars ready to go. Project to go up on it. Yes, push up this way. Now this cutscene's pretty cool. You're going up the mountain as the higher you go, you can start to get you start to see like ash everywhere because we're going up to a volcano basically, Mount Chimney. So yeah, the little cutscene's pretty cool. Awesome. Okay. 
if you expand the land, there will be no there'll be less habitats for war Pokemon. Yes, yeah, Dalsim and Fire. That's not very nice. The Poochianas are going at it. Team Magma and Team Aqua are just fighting right now. Let's climb up the mountain a little bit. I feel bad for Archie because he has to take on three Poochianas. It's a three to one basically, and that's not fair, honestly. I got stuck to Archie. Oh, Steven, please, you must stop Team Magma for me. They're trying to make this volcano erupt by using the storm meteorite's power. It's all part of their plans to expand the world's landmass. So basically, if you're playing Ruby and Sa if you're playing if you're playing Sapphire version, it's gonna be you know uh, Team Magma Leader Maxi against all three of these um, Team Aqua uh, Grunts uh, Puchianas. So yeah, and then if you're playing Emerald, it'll be I think it'll be like the same as in Ruby where T Archie is having to fight three of them at once against his one lone Puchiana, and Team Magma is trying to rule this place basically. So yeah. Stay out of the way, okay? We're trying to enlarge the landmass for the good of everybody. What about the water-type Pokemon, though? Like that one guy said, that one Team Aqua member said at the beginning of this um, area. Okay, Team Magma won't, wants to expand the landmass. How? How's that for insane? <laughs> and, uh, yeah, down to the limit fire. You see the same thing as that one guy down there. <laughs> Darn, Team Magma's outnumbered us. We can't keep up with them. Too bad I'm in on the scene now. Ha ha ha. So I'm gonna end the part right here. So this has been the end of my Pokemon would be redo walk that part. The next part would take on Team Magma and try to stop them at Mount Chimney. And I believe we'll catch our final permanent team member too. So that's pretty exciting. So yeah, so it's been Giant Go again. I would like to say again goodbye and hope to see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon would be redo walkthrough guide.